Okay, I think this is the final video because we're all done. Um, the olive oil never did light. I put a little piece of leather in there hoping that maybe we could use it as a wick. It's totally saturated in the oil. And uh, this is olive oil that you would use for cooking. I can't get it lit. So I don't know if, if uh, you can get too much and it just drowns itself out um, or if I'm screwing up somewhere. Uh, the fish oil is the winner by far. Um, and again, there was two of these. I poked a hole in it and squeezed out the oil. And I think that's real cool because I can carry them dry and just pop them out onto the cotton. Onto the, and so I can put the cotton in these um, soft gels in the same container and pop two out and put it on my cotton. And if I don't use it, then it lasts forever. These have been in my medicine cabinet forever. Um, by far, the winner totally burned up the cotton. And I'm going to uh, bring you closer here. And you can see that the uh, fish oil, big winner, 20 minutes, it had a medium fire, it left a small black nub of cotton. Then we're going to be followed by the booze, uh, which is pretty cool. I could not relight the cotton, um, although I thought I might be able to. It was 8 minutes and would not relight. It gave a hot Invisible flame that, of course, we know is from the alcohol. Very hot, but invisible. And, and you could look at the cotton, and maybe if the cotton dried out, it could be relit. I don't know. Uh, next we have the uh, Vaseline, which came in at 8 minutes. And it was a low, slow burn, and when it went out, it went out. We we'll follow that um, with the mink oil, the little mink oil salve. It had a, a higher flame than most of the rest, and uh, it lasted seven minutes and went out with a black nub. Then we're going to go with the beeswax at three and a half minutes. It burned up all the cotton. Uh, it was a nice even flame, um, but it burned up all the cotton, so there was nothing to relight at three and a half minutes. The control uh, went out within one minute. There was still a lot of cotton left. So I relit that cotton and the second trial and it went two minutes. And the olive oil, uh, again, I don't know. I don't know what I did or whatever. We know that olive, that oil will, um, will light. We know that it's an oil. So I'm not sure what I did. I'm going to goof around with that some more. But folks, the booze is pretty cool too. You get you some, uh, some Yukon Jack, which is a Canadian liqueur in a liqueur and or anything that I think that's a hundred proof and yeah take you a full bottle so if you get pulled over you're okay pour that on your cotton but by far and this is really cool cholesterol free fish oil 1000 milligrams 160 soft gels I have no how no idea how much this costs We've, it's been in the medicine cabinet forever and then of course you can use it for all kinds of uh, redundant things in your camp you know to cover your carbon blade but I gotta warn you that stuff smells like fish so maybe you could use it for bait all right that concludes our experiment and uh, I think we I think we see that it can uh, take a fish oil and get us some Yukon Jack.